Good morning, guys. So I've been editing last night's footage, and I've hit that point where I need to input my uh, my in-game scoreboard and the timer that goes along with that. So uh, I figured perfect time to do up a video to show you how I do it. All right, let's go. So I have all my footage lined up here, and everything is locked. One thing I will say is once you get your intro configured on how you like it, apps save that as a template. Even before you bring in any footage, as soon as you get the music and the intro and the logo and the graphics, as soon as you get things set up for an intro, immediately save that, label that opening template, and don't ever touch it again until you want a new, a new intro. Okay, so he's going through his warm-up right now, and I'm getting to the point where I want to insert the scoreboard and the timer. So let's go do that. So I built everything in PowerPoint. I find that to be the easiest. I don't know graphic design. I don't have any graphic design programs um, and I wouldn't even know where to start. So I just use PowerPoint because I know it is simple and I know it is very easy to use. So I have one example here that I made up a long time ago. Uh, here's another one. I just went with a linear example. And then here's just another modification. So I'm gonna show you through uh, how I, how I how I build one right from scratch. So the easiest way that I find doing it is to just put in a table. Have some boxes there that essentially kind of give you a guide. So this bo one box will be for the home team logo. Two boxes will be the home team logo and score. Away team away team score and the timer i just keep it very very simple we'll minimize that so it's not taking up so much space and we will change the color okay so i have my basic outline here now i need to bring in some pictures Here's a little Caesar logo. We'll resize that. And there we go. That's pretty much it. So then we'll come over here. We'll go to file. We'll save it as the PowerPoint. And I can't stress enough having templates. Once you get a template that you like, immediately save that. See, as you can see, I already have these guys all here. I, I just go through and I can just change them. So now that I have my PowerPoint, I need to save it as an image. So I'll come here and I will go to save as uh, in-game linear scoreboard, say new, and then I'll go to the drop down menu and I will save it as a PNG. And I will save it. And it'll come up with asking you which slides you want i just want that one slide okay so i can close that we'll go back to Fomora, go into the media go to where i saved it and linear scoreboard new so we'll put it in there it comes up in the in the images now i'll take this so i'll bring it into one of the tracks click on it and I'll do a right click because I have some cropping to do. So I'll go to crop and zoom. Come over here to the drop down menu. I'll go to custom. And then I'll just adjust it to the area that I want. Click OK. Nope, I cut off that dude's head. We'll go back. And now that we got this, we just shrink it down so we get it to the size that we want in the video. I'll expand that just a bit. Now, if I want to clean this up a little bit, 
I can double click on the image. We'll go to the image. We'll hit chroma key and see there's a little selector. So I'll grab the little dropper and get that to get it into one of the white spots and I'll hit it. And it immediately uh, gets rid of all the white coloring that's in and around the image. There you go. It cleans it up a little bit. And then I can, uh, I can come in and I can uh, manipulate the outer edges. I can thicken up the edges and I can make it a little bit less um, uh, abrupt by feathering it. I could also change, I could change other things, but I don't want to spend too much time on it because I've already spent, you know, a few, uh, quite a few minutes on it. So I'm pretty happy with that. And now it's just ready for scores and I'm ready for the scoreboard. And we will cover that later.